Hello my dear students, myself Raj Kaliya, professor in Vindavan group of institutions, serving you people in the free time by putting the videos so you can see and make use of it. Today we are going to start vectors. Vector, physical quantity which possesses only magnitude are called scalars. Physical quantity which possesses only magnitude. Physical quantity which possesses only magnitudes are called scalars. For example, mass length time area, volume, work and physical quantities which possesses both magnitude as well as a direction are called vectors for example force, velocity, acceleration, momentum etc. And we have types of matrix say zero matrix if the magnitude is zero unit matrix if magnitude is unit so like that few more types of vectors are there I would like to start with the sums directly we have two dimensional geometry you are doing in 10 standard that is O x x dash y dash in vector we take i a unit vector along x axis, j a unit vector along the y axis. Here we consider i unit vector along x axis, j a unit vector along the y axis. And if we have three dimensions, we have three dimensions x, y, z then along x i unit vector along y j unit vector along z k unit vector if we put here cap that is also the same thing for the unit vector but we assume for x, y, z i, j, k so let's go with the sums First sum I am going to do is express say express A in terms of IJK in terms of i j k if a is i mean the point a is given first part 2 4 second part 2 4 3 third part minus 3 0 5 see how simple it is first part a vector will come out to be it's two dimension x and y 2 for x multiplied by i plus 4 multiply by so that is how you are supposed to represent the vector if coordinates of the point given if coordinates of the point given we call it as position vector second one it's with three dimensions 2i 
प्लस फोर जे प्लस थ्री के थर्ड पार्ट सो सिंपल इट इज द साइन इज माइनस सो कीपिंग द साइन एज इट इज माइनस थ्री आई प्लस जीरो जे प्लस फाइव के दस कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस थ्री आई प्लस फाइव के सो लाइक दैट वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट द वेक्टर सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज ए इज गिवन टू बी थ्री आई प्लस जे प्लस टू के बी इज गिवन आई माइनस टू जे प्लस थ्री के फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए प्लस बी फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए प्लस बी सो फर्स्ट इज वेरी क्लियर वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी मीन्स राइट ऑफ द वेक्टर ए थ्री आई प्लस जे प्लस टू के प्लस बी आई माइनस टू जे प्लस थ्री के एट द टू थ्री आई एंड आई फोर आई वन एंड माइनस टू माइनस जे टू एंड थ्री फाइव के सो ए प्लस बी वी हैव गॉट दिस वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड सी हाउ टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द वेक्टर मैग्नीट्यूड of a plus b it's given by root of the coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square coefficient of i square which is 4 square Plus coefficient of j, plus then within bracket put minus one because coefficient is minus one. We are supposed to square minus one. Plus five square. Like that we can find the magnitude. So there is a coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square plus coefficient of k square root. It will come out to be sixteen plus one, seventeen plus twenty-five, seventeen plus twenty-five. That is forty-two. So, like that, we are supposed to find the magnitude. Magnitude can also be written in the board. We can represent. magnitude say we want to find magnitude of a plus b we can done it already and we can put it like this this is same as magnitude of a plus b a plus b magnitude 
So we can write it in this way. So similarly, it will come. When it a is 3i j plus 2k, b is i minus 2j plus 3k, find, find the magnitude of 3a plus 4b and find its inverse. So we want to find magnitude of 3a plus 4b. So put here 3 the value of a. That is 3i plus j plus 2k plus 4b i minus 2j plus 3k equals multiplied by 3 9i 3j 6k 4i 4 to the 8j Twelve k equals nine and four thirty nine three and eight three and minus eight j Three positive, eight negative, minus five j, six plus twelve, eighteen k. So thus we are getting thirty nine minus five j plus eighteen k. We want to find its inverse. Then its inverse is. Just put negative sign. Thirty nine minus five j plus eight. That is how we are supposed to take the inverse. Even he is asking for what is the negative of it. We are supposed to just put the negative sign. Then next. If the position vectors of a triangle have the position, if the vertices of a triangle if the position vector 4i, 5j, 6k, 5i, 6j, 4k, 6i plus 4j plus 5k, find the nature of the triangle. A triangle is given, say with the verses a, b, c. He is saying if the vector if the verses of a triangle have the vectors, position vectors, when the word position vector is there, it means it is with respect to origin. So therefore, OA, OA is 4i plus 5j plus 6k. OB five by plus six j plus four k OC six i four j 
plus 5k. O means all these are with respect to the, with respect to the original like OA, OB, OC. To find the nature of the triangle, we should know the length of the triangles. We should know the length of the triangles. Now find out vector AB. Vector AB. Which is which can be written as OB minus OA. See, this is what I am writing first time. We want to find vector AB. First terminal point minus initial point. B is the terminal point, A is the initial point. Thus it is B minus A. So with 0, 0 we are adding that is the origin OB minus OA. So B minus A will come out to B. See here now. B for 5i, 6k, 4k minus a for 4i, 5j, 6k. So by subtracting it will come out to be 5i minus 4i that is i, 6j minus 5j. That is J, 4 minus 6, minus 2K. Thus vector AB will come out to be IJ minus 2K. Then vector BC. Vector BC. Terminal point is C. OC minus OB. OC that is C. 6I. 4J. Plus 5K. Minus OB. 5I. 6j, 4k, 6 minus 5 that is i, 4 minus 6 minus 2j, 5 minus 4 plus k. So like that we will get bct. Then a, B, B, C come to C, A. Terminal point A. Initial point C. Now that is A minus C. 4I. 5J. Plus 5K. minus C 6i plus 4j plus 5k 4 minus 6 minus 2i 5 minus 4 j 6 minus 5k so we'll get a C now to find the nature of the triangle, we should know length of the sides. We should know length of the sides. There is magnitude of the sides here, AB magnitude. Root of, here it is AB, IJ minus 2K. Coefficient of I is 1. Coefficient of J is 1. Coefficient of K is minus 2. So which will give us 
वन प्लस वन टू प्लस फोर सिक्स सो इट विल कम आउट टू बी रूट ऑफ सिक्स बी इट विल कम आउट टू बी रूट ऑफ सिक्स देन बी सी बी सी मैग्नीच्यूड वन स्क्र अंडर द रूट वन स्क्र प्लस माइनस टू स्क्र प्लस वन स्क्र वन प्लस फोर फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स रूट then ca under the root minus 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square 4 5 6 again 6 we are getting root 6 root 6 root 6 units Thus, all the sides are equal. Thus, all the sides are equal. If all sides are equal, triangle is equal. Therefore, triangle is equal. If two sides are equal, isosceles. If all sides are different, scale and triangle. Like that, we can find the nature of the triangle. And uh, if uh, sum of the square of two sides equal to the square of the third side, then it is a right-angled triangle. Then it is a right-angled triangle. So, like that, we can find the nature. I think uh, here. This is not visible. See it now. BC vector OC minus OB, OC minus OB. By subtracting, this is what we will get. I think initially this BC vector is not visible, so BC vector will come out to be I minus 2J plus K. So like that, we can find the nature of the triangle. First, we have to find the sides of the triangle, then find the magnitude. from there we are supposed to decide the nature of the triangle if 3i minus 4j minus 4k 2i minus j plus k and i minus 3j minus 4k are position vector of triangle abc a triangle abc is there then position vectors are given for a b and c it means actual sides are not given actual sides we have to find by subtracting we want to show that triangle is a right angled triangle so condition for right angled triangle is h square equals p square plus b square so first find out the magnitude of the sides i mean first find out ab first find out the side ab ab let us terminal is b initial is a that is ob minus a Oh, so OB for B, this 2I minus J plus K minus A 
थ्री आई माइनस फोर जे माइनस फोर के इट इक्वल्स टू आई माइनस थ्री आई दैट इज माइनस आई माइनस जे माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री जे प्लस के माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर फाइव के ए बी विल कम आउट बी माइनस आई प्लस थ्री जे प्लस फाइव के देन कम टू बी सी टर्मिनल पॉइंट इज सी इनिशियल पॉइंट इज बी ओ सी आई माइनस थ्री जे माइनस फाइव के माइनस ओ बी टू आई माइनस जे प्लस के आई माइनस टू आई माइनस आई माइनस थ्री प्लस जे माइनस टू जे माइनस फाइव के माइनस के माइनस सिक्स के सो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सी विल कम आउट टू बी माइनस आई माइनस टू जे माइनस सिक्स के देन सी ए टर्मिनल पॉइंट इज ए इनिशियल पॉइंट इज सी ओ सी आई माइनस थ्री जे माइनस फाइव के ओ इट्स ओ ए माइनस ओ सी ओ सी आई थिंक आई हैव इन रॉन्ग ओ ए O A is three I minus four J minus four K minus O C minus I as I minus three J minus five K. Which will come out to be three minus i, two i minus four plus three minus four plus three minus j minus four k plus five k plus k. So like that we have got the sides of the triangle. Now find the magnitude. Find the magnitude which will which will give you the length of the sides. That is AB magnitude is root of minus one square plus three square. Plus five square. Twenty five plus nine thirty four plus one thirty five. BC magnitude. Root of minus one square plus. Minus two square plus minus six square. One plus four, five. Five plus thirty six, forty one root. C A magnitude. Two square. Plus minus one square. 
प्लस वन स्क्वेयर फोर प्लस वन प्लस फाइव दट इज सिक्स फोर प्लस वन फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स रूट सो दीज आर द लेंथ ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू प्रूव इट्स राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल स्केर आर स्केरिंग आर वी आर गेटिंग थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी वन एंड सिक्स नो सी फोर्टी वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी फाइव प्लस सिक्स therefore this is h plus p and b we are getting h square equals p square plus a b square therefore it is a right angled triangle with the right angle Eight. See where you will find the right angle. Forty-one is hypotenuse. Forty-one is BC. BC is hypotenuse. It means here angle is of ninety degree. Actually, this figure is BC is hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. then we are having p and b so you can write it as it is a right angle triangle it is a right angle triangle with right angle with right angle at see the side facing bc is uh, vertex facing bc is e with right angle at e like that you are supposed to write the answer first you are supposed to prove it is a right angle triangle then go for the hypotenuse the vertex facing hypotenuse is having 90 degree angle so bc is the hypotenuse vertex facing bc is a therefore it is a right angle triangle with right angle at a so like that you are supposed to prove it so kindly go through it properly and then as usual in the free time i am working for you i am laboring for you if you feel i deserve your subscription and liking so kindly subscribe and like it that's it good night